gentlemen, our next bout on the card is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the XMMA welterweight division and is presented by bookmaker.eu. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170.6 pounds. He holds a professional record of seven wins, two losses, and he fights out of La Chaux du Fond, Switzerland. Introducing Ange, the last ninja, Lusa. And his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, he stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 170.2 pounds. He holds a professional record of 29 wins, 18 losses, and he fights out of Boston, Massachusetts. Introducing Sean Doomsday Howard, our referee in charge, Nick Sherlock. Here is the question, is Ange Luzo gonna stay on the feet with John Howard? Is he gonna wanna trade? A lot of people online think that he is the favorite to win this fight. I'm hoping Will we see a striking battle between these two gentlemen. Both guys have high level striking. I mean, John Howard is such a stocky, muscle-bound guy. Luzo with the straight right to the body, left hook to the head. Howard responds immediately with the combination of his own. Howard more composed, looking to get a read, looking to score his diva, presses Boy. forward, body shot, left hook. Oh, there we go. Lose that goes for the takedown. You called it, Apple. We thought we were gonna see a striking battle, at least I did. Uh -huh. But you hinted that Anch may go for the takedown. I mean, how many people really want to want to stay on the feet that long with Great John Great question. Howard? I just tell you what, Howard seemed pumped up that he had someone that was gonna strike with them, but. Uh, He's gonna have to work. He's getting off the bottom and is grappling. But he now, said he's been working on that. Now you see Ron just trying to keep his hands inside, elbows inside, and control the posture of John Howard. He wants to keep him here. Howard doing a good job of controlling the biceps yep. and the overhook with the left arm yep. of Ange, not taking any ground and pound, looking to wall walk or cage walk up to his feet. Yeah, getting his butt and his back up against the cage so he can try to put his feet on the ground to push up. A little break in the action as Ange trying to get control. John trying to figure out how to escape and get back to his feet. Yeah, Ange focusing on not his ground and pound at the moment, focusing on pinning Howard down, trying to wear him, get him tired. Once he's tired, then he can open up the ground and pound. Howard very composed, got a wrist and an overhook, looking yep. for a jiu-jitsu sweep here from the butterfly position. He doesn't get a sweep, but leaves some space to get to his feet and let that overhook turn into a wizard. Great forward pressure from Lauza. Ange with some ground and pound. Ange Luza with some ground and pound. John's staying very composed, not trying not to use too much energy. But can he get out of here? I mean, this is not going to win the round for him if he's stuck on his back. Even if not that much damage is being done, he can still lose the round. Yeah, it's definitely hard to win off your back. It does happen a lot more nowadays if you, you do a, score a lot of elbows, push your opponent's head up in the air, drop some elbows. It, it, it can happen, but you're right, not likely. Halfway through the first round, can John explode to his feet? Howard looking to use the butterfly, strains the leg to get some space, attempts to get up. Looking to keep the momentum going, Ange. Ange looks very, very composed on top as well. Like he's just going to work, doing his job, not getting too excited. Yes, yeah, and it, sometimes it's a challenging for a striker to change up their game plan and become a grappler uh, because of the opponent. And it doesn't work Here too we well with them. Good job, John, turning his hip. And you get to it one hip like that, it gets easy to get up to your feet, doesn't it? Yes, yes. And you can see how uh, Howard is a, a true vet. Didn't use a lot of energy, just found, found the right opportunity to get up. And this is a traditional clinch position. Each, each fighter has one underhook. Ange throwing some knees up against his opponent against a cage. Okay. Howard circles off the cage. Now, will Ange go for the takedown once again? Well, he showed he's not scared to take him down, but once you start threatening the takedown, sometimes that opens your opens hands up, up yep. more. Opens you up the attacks. You start thinking about different things. Oh, Howard for a takedown of his own. 
Oh, nice Great knee. defense by Ange with the knee. John seems to be, he, he doesn't seem like he's moving quite as quick as he, as he normally does. I think he's composed and he has the tie style, trying to get a read here. He knows he's fighting a, a faster, younger fighter. He doesn't want to go punch for punch with him, wants to take and go, is my thoughts. Another good right hand body shot from John Howard as well in that exchange. You see that, Gilbert? I did. Great, great bet move to go to the body. And he's sizing him up. You saw him measuring with this jab hand. Just over 30 seconds ago here in this first of three five-minute rounds. And I was thinking about a takedown once again there, Gilbert. Yes. You, I, again, I want to talk about the composure. You know, you, you watch the Ties fight. Some of these guys have 100 fights, over 100 fights, and they're so composed in the chaos because they've been in the ring so much. They don't, they're very efficient. And that's what Howard oh. is, very efficient. Beautiful push forward, nice blitz, scoring some points. You know, to expand on what you're saying, I feel like it would take quite a bit to fluster John Howard in there. Absolutely. It, it, it'd have to really get crazy to freak him out. <laughs> <laughs> so much experience. Hodge, go over that takedown at the end of the round. The first of three five-minute rounds is down. And his corner doesn't seem happy. Look at him. I, I have to say that first round goes to uh, Toulouse. But I have to say um, the moral victory might have went to Howard, able to get off the bottom. Staying calm. Ange looked like he used a lot of energy. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Howard's corner really, they, they, they seem like they're not happy with how that first round went. They seem a little angry. They want to fire him up in there for the second and third rounds. But what you don't want is Howard to get over aggressive and get taken down. You know, that, that's sometimes his issue. He presses forward, they level change and take him down. That's what happens when you blitz forward. I like that he's going to the body, so if your opponent level changes and shoots, they eat an uppercut. So I think it's important for him to strike forward, but throw uppercuts, straights and uppercuts, in order to neutralize the takedown. All right, the second of three five minute rounds. Fighters are ready. Let's get that clock started. More action coming to you from XFMA. There we go. Ange tries to snag the single. Beautiful penetration shot. Great defense by Howard. And another thing you see that's a good idea with strikers like Howard's caliber is you can slow them down with grappling. Even if you don't get the takedowns, you're filling their arms and their muscles and their arms with blood, and that's going to pop them up a little bit and make their strikes not quite as snappy and quick, right? Yes, absolutely. That's a good old uh, BJ Penn, George St. Pierre trick. Try to weigh heavy on the arms, get them tired takes away from the striking. On showing some very good hand speed. And quick. great movement. Level change shot. Gets the takedown. John with that guillotine position. I don't know how much he's going to get from it, though. Fighter's right up here in front of us. Ange in the half guard position. He's got a cornerman right here in his face, letting him know what they want him to do. And believe it or not, it's for most fighters, that's a very comfortable, happy position when your coaches are right here in front of you. It can be definitely an advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Depending on who they are. And he has them in the half guard position, which is a great place to pin down your opponent. Body, body, head, traditional. Strikes on the ground in MMA. And like I said, both these fighters have been super composed. They know this is a long 15 minute fight. They know their opponents, both of them know their opponents very capable. They don't want to get too ahead of themselves. Absolutely, well these guys are, are, are high level fighters, high level professionals, and you have to be composed to be able to compete in the X MMA cage. Uh, you could see uh, Howard is in the half guard position. He had the underhook there, had an opportunity to, to jack his opponent up and, and go for the single leg uh, on Jay. Pummeled in, now he has the underhook. And John also reached down his right hand all the way down under the left leg of his opponent there for a, for a moment, didn't he? But talk about how that can be dangerous. Well, I think Howard is trying to use a, a deep half sweep out there, and I think it's actually a comfortable position to be in. Uh, you do got to watch out for the ground and pound, but if you're throwing punches, you may get sweeped in the process. Howard here trying to use a Kimura grip as a form of takedown defense. Ange using punches to defend it. Sure. 
And John's in that Kimura position, but going to be hard for him to get much. Nice, but if, if but he, he can, can use it to get it, up. Yes, he's using it to get up. He's halfway up yet. Ons trying to pull him down. Yep. Halfway through the round. Half, halfway through the round, we're getting up close, a personal view. Absolutely, he's got the best seat in the house right here. Oh, Howard big with shots. the pressure. Nice shots there from John Howard. But like I said, this grappling exchange has slowed him down, haven't they, Gilbert? They do slow it down, but again, Howard is very composed. He knows he's fighting the faster fighter. I think he's looking to counter. He's looking to block, get a read, to try to get a strike in when the time is right. We are, uh, you know, it depends how great of shape Anj is in. Anj is in great shape. He's still moving, lateral movement, good feints. He's looking solid as well. I think that's on Howard to put some pressure, lead with some uppercuts so you don't get taken down, but it's on him to put the pressure. He's down right now. Nice low kick. And I just feel like so far, unfortunately for John Howard, he's just been a step behind. Yeah, the speed of Andre, the youth of Andre, the uh, low mileage for Andre. I mean, that is making the difference right now. And if he can keep this up, it's going to be good for him. But if he starts slowing down and has to stand toe to toe with Howard, it could be different. Wow, great takedown attempt. Very great, great trip attempt, right? Yeah, good trip attempt. Good, good counter attempt by Wild by Howard. One minute to go here in the second of three five-minute rounds. Anj Lusa versus John Howard. So far, Anj Lusa has controlled most of the fight. That's the third or fourth time we've seen that right hand land to the body for John Howard, though. We'll see if it pays dividends in this third round coming up. Well, I mean, the fight continues to go this way. John's going to be down two rounds of none. I have to agree with you on that. Oh. Nice body kick. Yes, I felt that one. And Luza went back to the well on that same one. Oh, 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 oh. Fifteen seconds to go here in the second round. Luza's feeling comfortable. Yep. Yeah, Luza's smart as in he's showing a lot of respect for Howard at all times, which he needs to do. He's just working hard. He's just outworking him. Yes, he's outworking him. Great second round from Luza. I'm going to say he's up two rounds to nil. And John Howard just having a tough time getting something going. Yeah, he's he, frustrated. We know he's capable of it. He just can't seem to get it going. Yeah, I think John Howard would be best for him if he fought in a phone booth. Unfortunately, that's not how the sport goes. And he's having trouble, you know, keeping up right now with, with Luza. Yeah, it's definitely tough. Both fighters electing to stand up in their corner, not use the stools. <laughs> Trying to listen to the, the info given by this corner next to us. But man, Anz Luz has done a great job and just he just out hustled his opponent. He just he just worked worked harder and a little bit smarter than John Howard. And John is, uh, has not been able to get anything going. I think his grappling exchanges have slowed down his strikes. He's already a pretty thick, muscle-bound guy. And, you know, once those muscles get filled with blood, it's got to be tough. Yeah, but Howard is always dangerous and yeah, is very much in this sure. fight and can switch it up. And this is where he's probably thinking, hey, he's, this is where Angeloza is his most tired, and I need to capitalize now. This is what he has to do. Press forward, neutralize the takedown, and fire away. Beautiful right hands from the clinch here. Elbow off the break for Luza. Good striking exchange. Yes, one, two, left hook to the body by Luza. Beautiful. Howard shakes it off. Eats two jabs and a leg kick. 30 seconds into the round. Can John Howard turn this around? And what, what does he have to do to do so, Gilbert? What's he got to do? He needs one big punch to get him back in it here, just like this. He needs to press forward, but neutralize the takedown at the same time. Very challenging thing to do, but he needs to press forward. Wow, nice combination by Lauza. Straight right to the body. I can see An just focus on his speed more than his power. Nice shots. Oh, 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 oh. Anj is not backing down, is he? No. And Howard is digging for those body shots. Constantly looking for those shots. Go. 
Oh. Look for the kick. Yep, I saw it coming. <laughs> oh, beautiful oh, nice right, right hand, hand by yep. Anch. Anch staying in the pocket this round, really letting his hands go, really exploring his striking here. And, and not taking the easy way out against Howard. Now, Howard going for that clinch and pushing up against the cage, looking for a takedown possibly, but that's not going to win him the fight. Uh, it's a good point. It's a good point. He's trying to open things up possibly. Uh, again, Anj is a, a very tough puzzle to solve and just has an answer for everything Howard is doing right now and really exploring his striking here in the third round is, is, uh, is impressive. What I'm liking about the fighters here in XMMA tonight is Though they can be up 2-0 on the scorecards, they're still looking to do damage and still looking to, to win decisively in that third round. Okay, about halfway through the final round of this fight, what is John Howard gonna do to overcome the attacks of his opponent, Hans Lusa? We're looking for another kick here from Anj here. I love Anj's lateral movement. Found a way to circle to the center of the octagon. Got his back off the cage. Now he has room to move, slip, and glide out of the strikes of John Howard. Yeah, here comes a kick. Another body shot by Howard. Yeah, but two minutes ago, he's got to start firing off. He's got to look for a home run at this point. I believe he's down two runs, two rounds of nothing. I agree. And if you're not going to hit a home run, you got to hit a couple doubles. That's true. <laughs> there you go. He's touching him. Anj is doing a really good job, man. Yeah, Anj is showing that this is a mixed martial art fight. It's not a kickboxing fight. He's mixing it all up, and he's doing it really, really well with the timing. Just a, a real cerebral fighter. Yes, very versatile. Versatile with his strikes. He's attacking the legs, attacking the bottom. Versatile with his movement. He's in, he's out. He's fainting laterally, and, staying in the center of the, the and, cage. And I'm not going to say that his striking is not as good as John Howard's, but what I will say is you could beat someone striking, if they're so worried about your takedowns and you're mixing up all the attacks, you can catch them on the feet because they're worried about everything, not just your feet attacks. Yes, exactly. Not just your stand -up. Once he scored that first takedown in the first, that has been on John Howard's mind since then. Now he has to respect the shot. Therefore, he can't let his hands and kicks go the way he wants to. Here's his chance, though. Howard has him in the corner. Yeah, not much. Very good circle by Ange looking to his corner. Body lock. Whoa! Beautiful takedown right into the side mount position of John Howard. 38 seconds left yep. to go. Looks like he just sealed the deal. Impressive performance and Anj is, by Anj Loza. It's like a video game over here. Anj is doing a great job, really good job listening to his corner. And that, you know, that one thing you'll see is that's easy That's easy when the fight's going well. Def definitely makes a difference when you're getting the, the shit beat out of you. It's hard to listen to your coach. But Anj tonight is really listening to these guys and doing a great job. I mean, I'm impressed that he's listening to exact details from his, from his corner. But we're here firsthand. We have the front row seat. We have the corner next to us. Yeah. Really impressive. guided him through this. Really impressive. It, it is a team effort out there. Good job, impressive. Impressive, boys. Very impressive, boys. Great in performance, man. For Loza, Loza to be able to do that to John Howard, it's, it's very amazing. Yep. John Doomsday Howard. Never really got too much going in any of those rounds. He had 15 minutes to try to get something going. I mean, he landed a lot of good shots, but never really, really made a, a big, big, never made a giant, you know, impact. Fighters and their corners congratulating each other on a great fight. Judges are going to be adding up the scorecards, but at this point, it's just a uh, exercise. It doesn't really matter. I believe Anj won all three rounds uh, pretty clearly. John, like I said, he landed some good strikes, especially some good body shots. He landed that right hand of the body quite a bit, but he just wasn't able to get his game going, and that's credit to his opponent. And also two really strong, you know, well-built welterweights. These guys are, are as powerful as it gets in the welterweight division. And uh, really evenly matched up physically. Ons just moved a little bit 
more and kept the uh, energy going and fought smarter. But let's throw it in the ring for Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for the official decision. All three judges scored about 30 to 27, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Anj, the last ninja, Lusa. Anj, you just defeated an MMA legend right now. Is this the biggest win of career, and how happy are you? Absolutely, that's the biggest win of my career. I'm glad I was able to test my skills against a legend like John Howard, so I'm really happy about my performance. John Howard is known for being a complete mixed martial artist, but deadly on his feet. Was going for the takedown immediately part of your game plan? And is that what helped your striking excel even more? Well, I know you know I'm a striker, but I can wrestle too. We got G. Jones here, my wrestling coach. So we wrestle, we wrestle in Central. We're ready for everything. Excellent. You're here in the XMMA now. You just beat a legend, like we said. What is next for you, and who do you want to fight here in XMMA? You know, like I said, I train at Central MMA. We train with killers, the best of the world. I'm ready for anyone. I just prove I'm ready for everyone tonight against a legend like John Howard. So. I'm ready, to compete. I'm ready to compete to the biggest stage. I don't know, we'll see what's next. Ladies and gentlemen, Anj Luza. One more thing, I wanna, take a, I wanna say a big shout out to Kilcliff Takedown, Send for MMA, Victor Leaf, Chef Sean Kitchen. Thank you for everything, thank you for what we did for me. Shout out to my Send for MMA family. We made it, let's go. Give it up for him everybody, great performance.